A structure is a part of a construction or of a machine whose mission is to withstand the forces or loads acting on it under normal conditions of use. We can compare the structure of an object with a skeleton or shell. Structures tend to be made up of various elements combined in such a form that the combination is capable of supporting the forces that act upon it. A structure has to bear the exterior loads without breaking and without becoming deformed. In addition, it has to be stable, it cannot move nor tip over, and also be as inexpensive as possible. Massive structures are constructed by stacking up blocks of stone or logs. Here are a few examples. They can also be formed by large quantities of concrete. For example, this dam. These structures withstand great amounts of force, but need a lot of materials. Hollow spaces like doors and windows are limited to the length of the lintels. In vaulted structures, Lintels are substituted for arches. These arches are formed by pieces called voussoirs and a central piece called the keystone. These pieces are not subjected to bending, only compression. The pillars that sustain the arches could need buttresses. These structures facilitate the construction of structures with open spaces like bridges, aqueducts, or old buildings. Today, frame structures are the most utilized structures for the construction of houses. They are formed by several porticos linked together. The structure of these buildings is formed by the union of many porticos. A portico consists of two columns and a beam. If the column is in direct contact with the ground, a footing is placed at its base. Then, two porticos facing each other are joined by joists. Between the joists are some special blocks called vaults and a steel mesh above. Then it is filled with concrete to obtain the slab that will serve as a ceiling or floor of the upper floor. Triangular structures are formed by rigid bars joined together forming triangles. They are widely used because a triangle is a geometrically non-deformable figure. The point where the bars are joined is called a node. These nodes can be jointed or rigid. A jointed node would allow the angle between the bars to be modified and a rigid one would not permit it. These nodes are not typically utilized. Triangular structures can be flat consisting of bars that form several triangles joined together. In this case, they are usually called flat lattices or trusses. If the bars are joined together using several pyramids that will then be joined together, then we call the structure three-dimensional lattice. A geodesic dome is made up of bars that form several polygons like, for example, triangles or hexagons. The triangle is the most used geometric figure in geodesic domes. To be a geodesic structure, the vertices of polygons must all match the surface of a sphere or an ellipsoid. The great advantage of these structures is that they allow to cover a large space without the need for internal columns or tensioners. In addition, the amount of materials needed is minimal in relation to the volume they enclose. As a drawback, we will say that the construction of these structures is very complex. In these structures, the main resistance elements are the cables or tensioners. The suspension bridge itself, or also called suspension, is formed by two main cables hanging from towers on each side of the bridged area. 
The deck is hung from vertical straps attached to these main cables. The main cable allows the loads to be transferred from the suspension cables to the concrete towers. They usually allow to cover greater distance than cable stayed structures. Cable stayed bridges look a lot like suspension bridges, but their braces directly transmit the loads on the support towers. That is, in cable stayed bridges, there is no main cable. Thin shell structures are also known as plate and shell structures. They are made up of a sheet of resistant material that is characterized by a large surface area and small thickness. This sheet is curved by making a gap in its interior. In these structures, there are no pillars or supports that withstand the loads. It is the sheet itself, thanks to its curvature or folds, that distributes and resists all of the stresses. A pneumatic structure is made by an elastic material capable of closing inside a volume of air at a greater pressure than the atmospheric pressure. They are lightweight, removable, and also deformable structures. The element in charge of resisting stress is the air pressure itself. 